what is good friends we will just rewatch the first nine turns because i recorded this entire game but well my recording program fucked up and wasn't recording but yeah we have lefties from team france i think zomax and some us team so these are with grand um zomax scouts for hp fire turn one switched out the pharaoh as he gets up a spike so he's just gonna go into his venus over here on the keldy making the safe play as he doubles out into his rodom and here he brings in the clefable on the table and there's like 30 now i thought it was scarf rodom but now he reveals the tech he reads the Z-move and it's um, Inferno Overdrive and it will have killed the Clefable but he switches out into Zygarde. There's a really cool um, play on Lefty's part. I don't know if he predicted the Z-move but yeah he's gonna go for 1000 arrows and Zomok reveals um, standard defensive Lefty's Landris and it's a choice Bennett Zygarde which is also pretty standard. He's gonna switch out into Mew here and the Landris goes for U-turn. I literally remember all these turns because it just happened. Thankfully I realized it before the game was over and I kept recording, it would have been super annoying. So yeah, Volt switch Mew out into um, Zygarde again. Zygarde is going to get brought down really low by this Magma Storm. And yeah, I was just saying, imagine a Zygarde dying to fire moves. Uh, the combination of Inferno Overdrive and Magma Storm and Recall. Crazy, huh? The Zygarde is bulky. And then uh, basically when I said that I realized my recording program wasn't recording, like what the fuck is going on? So I had to restart over. Clefable eats that up, so I assume it's max defense Clef. Yeah, he's gonna softball here as long as this doesn't have. Yeah, it doesn't have a zoom of its defensive lefties, obviously. Obviously. Gets up his rocks, so Landris is gonna U turn out here. No hard switch. Yeah, that's okay. I was thinking about a U turn. Uh, doesn't really make a big difference. Like, I don't think he had anything with Rocky Hamlet. Uh, maybe he doesn't have U turn. Oh, yeah, maybe he doesn't have U turn. Because they run Protect um, of quick HPIs. Goes for Leech, predicting a switch. So that works out nice for the Feral Zone, so I'm making an aggressive play. I could see him sting in again, because the heat run is kind of obvious here. But he goes in a clef as the Rotom Heat comes out. No para, so he's knocking off. Not sure why he's knocking off. I guess it's best move to hit this, and if in case Zomuk switches out, he would get rid of an item. And there is a crit on the Clef Fable, which probably mattered. That sucks. That does suck a lot. I thought Lefties was gonna own this matchup, but offensive Zagat eating no hits. Yeah, Zagat is already low. Spike spills rocks. Probably kill it. Knowing Shodan is at 13%. Not at 14. Yeah, wow, Zomak actually bringing heat and probably winning. I mean, the crit sucked. Um, I can calc. I'm not sure if he's timid Rotom. Uh, Rodom vs Clefable and I think they're on bold but like only for Spidef, right? That's a spec, so we don't wanna have specs, so we wanna have Let's just make black belt some random item. Over it does fifty to fifty nine and the crit did sixty four, so it probably mattered unless he was modest. But I assume he was timid. T Bolt was doing um forty two Actually, T-Bolt was doing 42, yeah, so he could have been modest, yeah. Let's see if he's modest. Yeah, yeah actually, mm, I'm not sure. Yeah, he, he's modest. That was still a roll. That was still a roll that was um in Lefty's favor. Like, that was maybe... That was just a slight chance to get the high roll. But yeah, happens it's Pokemon, like, what can you say? At least he brings heat and not stall, like... I can respect that. <laughs> like I'm half asleep. I like I'm definitely open for like fresh fire teams like this, and for quick games. Cause like I was recording some long stall games earlier. He said over. He doesn't kill. I mean, if it was Mars, it was a roll, right? Really sure. So yeah, I did get interrupted. So I don't know where I was here. Yeah, this is really fucking annoying. Man, the 
like people coming in my room. Like I don't even know which turn I was anymore. I'm fucking mad now. Okay, so he got crit here. Then he goes into Venusaur, and I think he goes for. Uh, does he go? Does he have Leech Seed or like knockoff or something? Do he touch Heatran? He scouts for potential earthquake by going into Landris. He has Leech Seed, okay. I can see him double leeching predict in the U-turn here. Man, people really come stomping into my room, if that's even correct English. And I'm trying to focus here when I'm super tired and can't even focus anymore. But yeah, I can see the Venus are just going for synthesis again. Uh, uh, again, not again, for the first time. Just to be safe. Like, even if he goes for taunt, yeah, he still got leech on this turn. If not that Slomak has the best doubles, I guess he can go to Heart Magic Gym if he has Zen Hutbart. If he predicts the synthesis here. Um, I assume there's gonna be... Lichy synthesis... And then either Sludge Bomb or Giga Drain and end HP Fire. I think it only has one of the two steps. I, I assume it still has HP Fire because he doesn't have a Magnezone to get rid of... Stuff like Ferrothorn. I mean, he does have fire coverage on this, but still, like, people can switch out on Cell Stealer, so I'm not sure. Goes back into Landers, predicting what? I'm not really sure what he predicted. I think. No, no, if he predict. No, he didn't predict the Zygote because his Intimidate wouldn't have gotten off. The Zygote could have killed him with Southern Arrows. Yeah, not sure what he predicted. Okay, Gunja goes for Pump, picks up the Landris. Mm, yeah, I think this is Scarf Gunja, to be honest. Because his team gets clean and raped by Volcarona, otherwise, I mean, yeah, you, you, you do hear the sentence a lot from me that teams get destroyed by Volk. If a certain one isn't Scarf, but it's just true. Yeah, Zygarde is a decent check. If Volk doesn't have HP eyes, but yeah. That's a, that's a if. So yeah, I assume the Keldios are gonna go for Scald. And he disconnected. We have so many disconnects today. Actually, not today, but like overall in World Cup, we already had like a few. Yeah, see, they're saying another DC. Yeah, actually, yeah, we have we had a lot. In one game, it didn't end in a timeout, but in another game, some guy timed out. But yeah, he's back. Gotta check after the game which team Zomok is on. Goes into Celesteela. If he gets burned, this is gonna be annoying for lefties. I can see. Um, I mean, Zomok can't really pivot because spikes plus rocks is gonna be a pain to deal with. So he just scalds again, breathing a leech seed, I assume. And he gets the burn. I mean, it's scald, what can you expect? It's gonna happen. Yeah, he's either gonna. Yeah, I think he's gonna double leech seed here, but I can also see Zomok stain and predicting double leech seed. Did go into Feral's on predicting potential leech seed. Knowing he wouldn't go for a fire move with a heater in the back. And I assume he's gonna pivot into heater now. Oh my fucking god, what a lord. So he predicted him to break the heater twice. Gets the play correct. <laughs> he still didn't really do a fire move, by the way. And he leech did it again, knowing that Zoma would eventually switch. I'm wondering if this last move is Pain Split or Willow with. He saw a Volt Switch T Bolt overheat and the Z move the Z overheat, I assume.
I mean, protecting didn't really help him, right? Because he was leech seated, and like there was leech seeds on both sides, I guess. Was potential scouting for the last slot, but he didn't reveal anything here. Yeah, I think he's just gonna sack off the Cell Stealer. Yeah. I mean, if he wants his Lega to still be alive, he kinda has to defog. As soon as that is at 30 and dies to hazards. Mm. Yeah, he can go with Ninja here, but he still has to predict correct. Like, if he goes Ferrothorn on a pump, that would lose lefties all the momentum. Yeah, this is tough for lefties. He's one more down, and his Slagger is basically dead. Like, every mono already took some prior damage. It's either Greninja or Mew, right? I don't know. Like, what? I don't think Venusaur would be the play, right? Yeah, I think they decided on no timer. So I finally got out into Greninja, I took him like about a minute. I bet the icon understand is really tough. Spikes Hyrule Pump. What else? Gunk Shot and Rock Slide? I don't know. Low Kick? No. I assume Rock Slide. Because you shouldn't rely on Hyrule Pump versus Volk, right? Because after Quiver Dance, it doesn't kill, obviously. But yeah, he gets rid of the road on me. I don't think Zomo had a reason to switch there, but. I mean, he could have gone Feral Thorn, but like. Like he was already in a driver's seat basically and now he knows this is locked into pump and he gets to bring in his Kelt or his Pharaoh or oh wow he goes many So he's gonna go for Fake out here. How much does Fake out do for many? I don't think it kills him. He has bullet punch. Oh I think he just wants to bring this good engine ranged, yeah. He just wants to fake out so this Greninja is in range from hazards and then he's gonna switch back out and do Feral Thorn, I assume, on a water move. Yeah, that, that's smart. The fake out does uh, 35 to 42, so it will put it at like somewhere from like 7 to 12%, something like that. Yeah, that's a tactical play. I mean, you can switch out on the fake out into what? Like, you could sack something else. But Lefty's basically loses a Pokemon here. Now he can go into Mew, but... After Hazards, the Mew is at... 56 something like that? And with a fake out damage, let's say Mew... Oh, let's say all defensive, let's turn a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, fake out into high jump kick would probably kill after hazards, but he does go hard into Mew. Yeah, that. Oh wow, he went for high jump kick. This guy's insane. I mean, I can understand the play, but that was wild. But yeah, like you, you saw, high jump kick killed anyway, so he could have just faked out into high jump kick. I don't know if the play was necessary, but I guess he had to flex on him. Um, Medicham. I want to see what Scarf Greninja how much pump does. Um, no, Hydro Hyper Beam, what the fuck? Hydro Pump. Take away the life or. Um, 67 to 79, so it can't even kill the Medicham. So I guess the play makes sense. This was High Roll tried. What was High Roll? 
What was I rolled? High jump kick? Doesn't Mew, Mew gets outsped by this anyways? I don't think that matters. <laughs> What's this jolly Mew? I'm saying, like, how does the Mew outspeed this? I can try to figure out which team Zomog is on while Lefty <laughs> figures out his play. Considering that damage Mew might be faster. Doesn't have to be adamant to do 49%. does 51 max. Too offensive Mew? I don't know what's going on. I don't think this endgame matters, like, I'm not sure. I might just be missing everything because I'm too tired. He had dodged the roll, then went to speed tie. Assuming he's max speed. And hit below his potential E. I mean, the smock to chat, I know it's not always right, but like sometimes I orient orientate and like I kind of see what they say when I'm too tired to think myself, like, like right like right now. Just, um, I recorded like seven, eight, nine games, like it's, it's, it's enough, like I need a break. Okay, he's not sending anything out, there's no timer, I pause it. Okay, Zomok is on US West by the way, I just figured that out. Okay, that's something. But they're still not making a play. I mean, I'm pretty sure Zomok has this game locked up anyway. He's still there, right? Right here. Okay, so he sends out the Venusaur. So he hopes that this doesn't have the Zenith bar. Oh, he is hoping. Yeah, he only has ice punch. There's nothing. The thing is, is he gonna leech seed here or giga drain? Yeah, leech seed. Doesn't this get walled by Heatran anyway? And he only has a few synthesis PP. I mean, he has still seven, but like that's not super ultra lo a lot. Like, I think he's willing to sack this mage champ to get this Venus or kind of low. Grant still can come in. Can still come in one more time. I don't think Zagat can come in. But yeah, I don't think he can lock into a move. Like his Venus should lose to the Heatran one v one. He the Greninja can't hard switch into that. So he basically have to sack as he gets rid of the Medicham, The Heatran comes out. He would have to sack the Zygarde, then go into Greninja. And then he can't lock into a move if he scarf that kills everything. And I think he's scarf, right? Um, his hydro pump would kill Trent, but it wouldn't kill Keld and wouldn't kill Feral. Gunshot would need like actually I don't even know what all his moves are on Grin. I don't think he has gun even. I don't know, he should spike some pump, right? But yeah, we will see. Maybe he can pull off some miracle here. So he's gonna Magma Storm, I assume. Sex of the Zyra, yep, and Grin is gonna come out. Like I said. Damn, he went for substitute on a sack, what a god. Am I about to catch the Scarf Shuriken? No, you're not, you're not. Scarf Water Shuriken is not a set. Trust. Rock slide. Yeah, see? Has to be rock slide for Volcarona. And yeah, Zomok takes the win for US West 
over Team France. I think that was Lefty's first game, right? This looks like something I would use, but like, it's a bit too passive. I mean, he dodges there, which is, which is something. Wow, I think I, po I think I spoke too soon. I <laughs> said deserved. He's going in on this guy, but yeah, he hits another one. But I think I spoke a bit too soon. That dodge might actually change the game. He's just gonna synthesis again. He turns gonna die to lead seed. Venusa is still healthy. Wow, never mind. Venusa can win this. If he has HP fire to touch the Pharaohs on, he wins. Wait, how the fuck did he pull this out? This is why you don't speak too soon. That was my fault. <laughs> I th uh, yeah, to be to be fair, I thought the heat was a bit like at least at 60%, but it was super low. Yeah, his HP fires. Venusa actually pulled it out. It's crazy. Lefty takes the win for France. Yeah, that's why you never speak too soon. Boy, really turn it around. I already said somehow picking up the wing for US West. That was embarrassing. Holy fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I am um, on a grind for you guys. And yeah, mistakes happen. When you record like 10 games in a row. And yeah. Doesn't have Giga Gen. Okay, such from HP5 and this is HC. Lefties takes the win for France. And yeah, I don't want to spoil any other games, like if there were some other France games, because I was about to say the results, but yeah. I mean, most of you guys will know anyway, but I know some people were busy and will, will appreciate the game's life on the channel, quote-unquote life, like it's a recording thing, you know what I'm saying. Um, I'll see if there's any more games, but hopefully not, because I really need some sleep. But I also want to catch as many games as possible. But yeah, sleep has priority. Um, gotta be healthy, right? Um, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, the Heat. I thought the Heat team won. I mean, he did get a crit with a... I think he crit the Clefable, which probably mattered. He did, I did run a Kalk. Like, that was highly unlikely to kill. And um, he might have been modest for him. The Clefable might have had some spit death. Because... I wasn't sure, but uh, even if he was fist death, I think there was like a high, ch low, low chance only to kill. But yeah, so it was like hacks for hacks. But I think the left, I don't know which hacks was a higher chance to happen. But yeah, overall cool games on this. Uh, it's already 1 a.m. here on Saturday, June 24th. Record about nine or ten games. Uh, that will probably go up. Yeah, like in the next 30 hours. Like every f three, four, five hours, one game maybe, and I have one video which is like three games and one video for a specific reason. You will find out. And yeah, goodbye.